Hello everyone, here I am. <laughs> So we're going to make three different kinds of pasta. I'm thinking the idea is to kind of make it a wee bit like an Italian flag. So we've got a red, a white and a green. So we're going to do a tomato mascarpone, we're going to do a basil and rocket pesto and an aglioleo, <laughs> which I love saying out loud. I'm probably murdered in it, but it's a lot of fun to say. That sounds good. I, I just love pasta. <laughs> I think my favourite pasta is probably tomato mascarpone because it's delicious but I do like all of the above. I'll probably need to work on my portioning slightly because you know what it's like with pasta. Like I I went through a phase of um, measuring pasta because I read somewhere that they said like the, the, the proper serving size for one portion of pasta is like 70, 70 grams. That's not a lot of pasta. So I would normally round it up to about 100. <laughs> you naughty, naughty. And then I'd be a wee bit more for luck. <laughs> so I just need to watch, because I'm making three different kinds of pasta and we're gonna use three different like shapes of pasta, I need to bring it in a bit. <laughs> I still do measure it, but I think I'm up to probably about like 250 for two portions. So almost double. <laughs> Exactly, like Erica says, no one will tell me how much pasta I can or cannot eat. The pronunciation in the G in aglio is silent. Aglio, aglio. Ah, what's the point of the G then? I, that's what always confuses me with these things. Do I see how much pasta I bought? So it was on sale in Tesco for a pound, and they had all of the different shapes. So I bought them all <laughs> because I got a wee bit excited because you don't often get <laughs> you don't often get like weird shapes in gluten free pasta. They didn't have the macaroni though I was gutted. But I got penny, I got fusilli, I got tagliatelle, and I got conchigili, conchi conchigili, wee shells. <laughs> the wee shells. <laughs> I am a pasta couple. A pasta couple. And you, you, you could, you. <laughs> what is it with all these hard words today? <laughs> I, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it was, it was a miracle. Actually, we got. <laughs> and we got a look what I bought. Look what I bought. If you're still here, if you're not, if you've not run away, look what I bought. The fancy stuff. Because it was on offer. <laughs> it was on offer in co-op today. Right, so I'm going to do... I mean, we all know how to make a, a red sauce at this point, don't we? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, this camera. We'll pick him up, shall we? Because you're just been too, you're too interested. Look at him. Look at his wee face. He doesn't want to be here. What's wrong? <laughs> it's like, why? Why are we here? Why are you doing this to me? But you're so cute. Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> He's serious. It's like, mum, just put me down and read me. Put me down and read me. Oh. Rice flour. Gluten-free white rice flour, which I used to be able to get in supermarkets. It used to be really easy to get. I can't find it anywhere apart from on Amazon now. So I got some of that. And then I also got some of this tapioca starch. It all looks pretty dodgy, to be fair. Um, but this is what we need. To, oh, this is what we need for the croissants before. <laughs> I thought you were taking the mix. I'm just not listening to folk as much. Right, I need more heat in that. I've got a nice chunky, look at the size of that garlic clove. So I'm going to use that for the aliolio. Aliolio. I know, that was quite funny. I meant to tell it actually, but I think that, I think that time's gone. But every time I go to, oh, they smell amazing. Like, we'll buy something. <laughs> She's not buying it yet, I'm furious. <laughs> Get them out for cheap then raise the prices, I know. I wish I could, Miguel. 
<laughs> I wish I could. Because they don't know. I know Lupoy is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, this smells amazing already. So I'm gonna add just a wee bit of sugar because that's what we always do with this. It's getting quite dull, so it is. So we've got Parmesan, a lot of basil, and some rocket. Because I figure I'm just gonna make all of this. I don't know how much they need. Right, so now we want 80 grams. Which is in one of these? 30. Oh, I'm using rocket as well, that's it. I am making pesto. Yes, faded. We're just putting all the stuff into the food processor. And then we're gonna stick it, oh God, that's a lot of oil. And then we're gonna whiz it about. Um, we've got tomato mascarpone sauce on its way. And then we'll do the pastas and the aloe oil, aloe oil. <laughs> and then we'll make all the pastas. I can cut me all I'm over here. I might need to get one of them. <laughs> it's not very fast, it's slow back, but it's okay. I think the oil in it emulsifies because it, it fizzes it pretty quickly. I remember the first time I made this, I made it with cheese scones. So I made little gluten-free cheese scones and I just dipped the cheese scones in the pesto. Oh my God, <laughs> it was so tasty. So definitely recommended if you want to ever try that. There we go. Because I do like this as smooth as possible. So it looks not too bad. And then we'll add in some mascarpone. And then I'll try it and see if it needs anything else and we'll just leave it for a bit. Yum! This is the best part of this. I made a pot of this a long time ago for work colleagues coming to visit and it cooked all day. I couldn't tell you what I put in it because I just kept firing stuff in it um, until I had nothing left and it was the nicest pasta sauce I've ever made and I'm kind of gutted that I don't know exactly what was in it <laughs> because I can't, it's difficult to recreate it but Either way, even like this, it's still really, really tasty. A wee bit more herb fatty and then we're good. You know what, I think I'll prep the stuff for the al al alio de oleo first. I think I'll prep that and then we can make the pastas. Thank you, McLaughlin. <laughs> Your pinky no worky, what happened, Luco? I'm going to do two garlic cloves and they're quite large garlic cloves. <laughs> but I figure I don't have to eat the garlic, like the chunk of the garlic because it's sliced, so I'll just get the flavour and it hopefully won't be too bad. Right, so I'm going to toast off the garlic first. And then we'll prep the other bits and then we'll make the pasta and then we'll put that back on once the pasta's done. Probably not, McLaughlin. I mean, you could try. <laughs> but I'm going to say Probably not. Oh, it smells good. The garlic does smell good. It smells a wee bit different, but it does smell good. <laughs> yes, the golden is quite strong. I can imagine that would make you sneeze. <laughs> and then don't sneeze into the bag because you'll end up sneezing it all out. Here, fess it up and dip it in ranch. That sounds good. I'm intrigued. I'm going to try ranch. I'll probably try making it myself. Um, but I'm intrigued by it now, McLaughlin. Especially for pizza dippage, because that sounds tasty. Okay, so let's stick the sauces out of the way and make some pasta, shall we? And then we can heat it all up together. Oh, thank you, Ali. Oh. <laughs> McLaughlin, what stream was it recently of beers that you were all about the question? Because I'll need to give you a wee follow so I can catch you if you do. Feel elderflower and strawberry. <gasps> See, that sounds amazing, McLaughlin. Okay. Subbed 
subbed by NASA, I meant to say. <laughs> subbed, no, nonetheless. <laughs> because Re yeah, see Trent, because Rexus is a madman. <laughs> and I checked after stream, I was like, surely that's a joke. The official account. <laughs> I think I'm going to do the Fustelli for the, the tomato marsupone. Are those two very pump? They are. They are quite large. <laughs> but I've only got these or tiny wee ones. It, it does look nice, doesn't it, Ali? It was funny. I was, I, I was looking through some of my clips earlier and there's some clips from like like the first streams and it made me laugh how different the kitchen looks <laughs> and without the meal jars it looks so boring and I'm like I'm never ever going to be able to get rid of these meal jars because my, my kitchen's just going to look so dull. Look at that. Yum. It looks so good. It smells incredible. <laughs> you clipped some nest in that one. <laughs> it's funny, I really enjoy looking through the clips because I'm just gonna use all of this. Because it it always makes me laugh what people find funny in streams. And it's stuff like half the time I forget that it happened or I forget that I've said something. That one, we just need to finish off our alley oli oli al is that what it's called? Alley oli 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 yes. <laughs> Where do you like keep them? No, don't, don't do that. Don't do it local. Or if you do, will you let us know how it is? <laughs> but it can't be good. It can't, like, it, no. Or some other combinations, that's it, Luke. Well, that's that's more than enough. Uh, let's do let's do seven seven minutes straight. We've got our pesto pasta, and then we're just finishing off our agli olio agli olio. <laughs> so we're we're nearly there. Badger at the pesto looks incredible. I'm so excited. Just off George Square, George Square on Queen Street. I lived there for a bit as well, Jam. <laughs> like. Like they are, <laughs> and yeah, it's a, it's a good time. And the, whoop, in the pan, stick this one on now, shall we? Spaghetti in the pan, olive oil and garlic. Sprinkle on it, and half of that. Yes, come down for it, Danny. We're gonna have a great day, night, evening. Okay, parsley. Again, I just made up the amount of parsley, so I've got no idea, and the parmesan, but it'll be fine. You work a couple of buildings down the street, you don't know the city when you move, so you just got the... Nice, that was a good place to move to as well. Jam. Look how good this looks. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, it smells delicious as well. I'm just trying to break it up a wee bit. You know what, I'm tempted just to put all of this in. Keep drawing a blank. Mm. <laughs> uh, that, that was meant to be a kind of twirl, like doodah, but it's, it's not really worked. <laughs> Aww, tiny. That's very kind, thank you very much. I mean, I don't know if I would agree but <laughs> but thank you and I'm very pleased that you tried I mean that's kind of twirly whirly isn't it but it, I mean it was all planned it definitely was all planned <laughs> Eureka moment I'm glad it's all based though that's good my favorite celebrity chef I think it has to be I love Gordon Ramsay I just think he's fab and I feel like I've kind of grown up watching his stuff 
and he's just a legend. So he is, so I would say Gordon Ramsay. I'd love to meet him one day. And I'd really like, I'd really like him to shout at me. <laughs> is that weird? You, 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 you. <laughs> I would enjoy it if he shouted at me. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably break down in tears and cry, but it would, it would be like a, an experience, a life experience. Thank you, Jam, doesn't it though? I mean, we don't really need the wallpaper for this. But Tiny, this is how I would do it. See if you've got a bowl. Put it to one side, like north, west, <laughs> and crumple it a bit, half under the bowl, and then take the picture. You need to scrunch it up a bit because if it's flat, it looks weird. Oh, I don't know. I think I would go for the red one. Oh, I think Erica's lurking, so we should be okay. <laughs> we have a three-year-old LG phone. Get, get a good light, pour to hawk and you'll be fine. Oh my god, it's still good. The alley oli oli would have been weird and with Penny, that wouldn't work. Oh my god. That one's good too. Thank you all for being here. I'll see you all on Friday. Um, and yes, I will enjoy that wine. Thanks, Jam. Okay, bye.